Uh, good morning, Nathaniel. So 23 years you've been waiting for uh, Madonna to arrive. Three hours more, is that a problem? Oh, look, if you're waiting for 23 years, three hours isn't actually all that much more to wait unless you're just sitting in a boring theatre waiting for her to arrive, which, what, which is what everyone had to do on Wednesday night. Uh, doors opened at 8 o'clock, but Madonna didn't actually show up until quarter past 11 and then kept performing, which was to her credit, until uh, half past 1, uh, which was fantastic. But unfortunately, the public transport in Brisbane uh, actually stops at quarter past 12, so anyone who caught the train out couldn't get home and had to wait for a taxi. What was the reaction, Nathaniel, uh, when she came on so late? Did, did she apologise to the fans and what were they like in the run-up to her appearing? What was the atmosphere in the arena? The atmosphere in the arena was one of absolute boredom. Uh, there was a DJ that played before she came out. They played from about 8.30 until 9.30, so it was still quite a long time uh, for, for them to wait with nothing but just music background music playing in the theatre. Uh, so it was absolute boredom. I saw people like falling asleep in their chairs, people playing games on their phone. Uh, people were actually really angry. When I arrived at the theatre, I didn't get there until about nine o'clock myself, and there were already people starting to leave because they didn't want to wait any longer for Madonna to turn up. Uh, so they'd obtained refunds and left the, left the venue. Uh, and the atmosphere in there was absolute complete and utter boredom, turning into anger in some areas. And then when she finally did come out at uh, quarter past 11, she did a few songs and then mentioned her lateness, but kind of blamed it on the audience instead of taking responsibility herself. Yeah, there's been, it's interesting, isn't it? Because there's been lots of reports about her performing seemingly the worst for wear. And one of the things that shocked us, and, it's, and it seems to have shocked us more over here in the UK than it has in Australia, is that she had a young girl on stage yesterday, 17-year-old model, and she actually pulled the girl's top down. She brings up someone in every performance. Uh, as far as I know, she's never pulled anyone's top down. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the girl herself has said that, you know, she's the only one that can be humiliated or embarrassed by it, and she wasn't. So I guess nobody else really has a right to either. Nobody of the, in the audience was really talking about it. Uh, it's just really been the media. Were you, were you shocked by that, Nathaniel? Did you write about any of that in your review, or has any, have any of the media written about it over there? Uh, everybody in the media has written about it. I was at the Wednesday night show, not the Thursday night show, so I didn't see it myself. I've seen the footage and, yeah, it is a surprise, but it's Madonna. She's been shocking people since she first started doing this in the 80s. We've all seen the book, we've all seen the photos, so I think if you go to a Madonna concert and you're shocked by seeing a breast, then you're probably not uh, in the right concert. She's got two more nights, I gather, hasn't she? Saturday and Sunday. Uh, what do you think she will make of the, the press that's, uh, you know, that, that she's garnered from being so late? Do you think this is going to change? Will she turn up on time next time? She actually addressed the, uh, the media she's been getting at her show on Thursday night and described everybody as the late police. Uh, <laughs> I, I imagine the promoters would have had something to say to her after Wednesday night because no matter what happened, uh, three hours late for a show is pretty unacceptable. Uh, it was also massively inconvenient for the audience and they had to give money back and no promoter ever wants to put their hand in their pocket. Uh, she is filming her two shows in Sydney uh, on Saturday and Sunday, so I imagine there'll be uh, restrictions on how late yeah. she can go on yeah. stage. But it is Madonna. Uh, she is the queen of pop, apparently. So I guess she's going to do whatever she wants anyway. Queen All of right. being late. Nathaniel Coop from the you. Brisbane Times, thank you for joining us uh, here in the studio. Uh, we have um, Rick Sky. Uh, Rick, you've interviewed her on a number of occasions. I, I, I'm intrigued because what, uh, what surprises me more is the lack of reaction to the fact that she exposed this 17-year-old girl's breast on stage. Nathaniel kind of saying, you're going to be shocked by that at the Madonna concert in the wrong concert. In the context of what she did, is that more shocking to us here in the UK than it is in Australia? Well, we like to be shocked. I mean, we're always shocked by Madonna's antics and we should have learnt that that's what she, she, she does. You know, she, she wants to um, infuriate people because that's a great way of publicity and that's all she if does. If that was a male star, I, I reckon mm. that would be front page everywhere today. We would all be talking and everybody would be, would be outraged. I don't Do you know. Do you think she gets away with I, a lot because she's Madonna? I think, she, I think any star can get away with whatever they want because the public adores stars. No, no, I disagree. I di I'm sorry, I disagree. I think one of the interesting things is that this 17-year-old girl has come out and said, I'm the only one who should be getting offended and I'm not offended. Yeah. But had it been somebody else, 
it could have backfired on her, surely. It, perhaps it could have backfired, but Madonna doesn't really take chances. So she knows that okay. this girl is going to be OK. You know, she's not, she's not taking up um, an, a, a nun or something like that, although she has dressed as a nun in the past. You know, she's not doing that. So she's she knows, aware of the she's character. Very of the aware of, she's very aware of that. Also, these people are fans. They're not going to. You know, they're not going to complain. Yeah. It's very interesting um, what the, the guy from the, the, uh, the, the, the family, Brisbane yeah. Yeah. Uh, was, was saying. That you know, uh, there's that. Fa there's that great quote. Uh, We've waited 23 years for Madonna. What's another few hours? You know, and it's that kind of mentality that you've got well, to put what, yourself into. What... You know, these are fans. They'll do anything. Well, They'll walk what over some, broken glass. A lot glass of the fans were saying, you know, the diehard fans. But there were a lot of people saying, yeah, I'm a Madonna fan. I paid a lot of money for the ticket. It's a it's a week night. The late transport. I've now missed my late. If I don't go now, I'm going to miss my last train. I've got to go to work tomorrow. And those people are furious. So she hasn't got away with that. She hasn't. No. I mean, the the one thing. She's not British Rail. We don't expect her to. Well, mind you, they don't run on time either. You know. <laughs> so, but uh, we we don't expect her to be on time. Rock and roll is known for being wild, and it's not punctual and things like that. She she is uh, by being so late. It's it is it is frustrating, annoying. What I don't understand, what I can't understand, is why she doesn't entertain. Why does why isn't why isn't all that programmed and so there's videos yeah. of Madonna or something the poor beforehand. DJ having to pay yeah. for three yeah. hours. Well, why doesn't she give right. everyone a cab? Well, listen, she's she's playing again, as we said, in Sydney, Saturday and Sunday, so watch this space. But interesting, yes, yeah, Daniel said, they're filming that one, so you can imagine yeah. she's she's picking up the costs of all the yeah. camera crew and stuff. Uh, Rick, thank, thank you. you very much thank for joining us. Pleasure. Uh,